Hey, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make your dome master back into an equirectangular flat view. So right here we see the dome master and then this is what equirectangular looks like. And it really depends on your production pipeline why you'd need to use this. And I've personally been experimenting with various ways of producing. I'm still new to this. VR and dome production and so a lot of my original art will start actually as a full 360 degree scene a flat scene in aqua rectangular but I've also been experimenting with compositing some elements within the dome master scene for its efficiency of being able to take advantage of elements coming right from the zenith because I'm using more flat 2d elements I'm not using 3d cameras for some of the stuff that I'm doing but then I wondered how can I have that be rendered out again as flat because let's say I wanted to crop a section of it, uh, just a HD section of it and render it out. Well, how do I get from there back to here? So let's say you have your dome master video and you can just apply the VR converter. This is an effect found right in After Effects. You don't need any extra plugins. So the original source, you add the effect and then the set the original source as fisheye full dome and then the output is equirectangular rectangular to one. And then field of view is currently 180. So just to make it look right, I would set it to negative 90 on the tilt X axis. And then the field of view should be set at whatever your original output or field of view on your dome master was set at. So I happen to know mine was 270 because I wanted to fit a lot into the scene. And so now you can see that we have it stretched out and things look correctly. You can kind of go based on the circle around here. It's, uh, it looks correct now. Uh, and you can see some of these elements as they move into that rectangular view, they're stretched. But if I wanted to comp this and render out just a, like an HD view, I could do that and I could just crop a section of it and just have it something like that. But if I rendered this out in VR format and set it to 360 degree view, I would have this big black box at the bottom. So what happens if I actually have the original footage was created in full 360, even though I was compositing some elements in the Dome Master um, at this 270 degree view. So to fix that, you would need to go into your original Dome Master composition. Now this is actually just one frame to make it easier to view this tutorial. Um, but this is what the original output of the Dome Master looked like and the field of view is set to 270 and the tilt axis to positive 90. Now if I want the whole view in acro rectangular, I simply just have to set the field of view to 360 degree um, field of view. And so now all the information is there. And then you can take this composition or maybe it's rendered footage and bring it into another comp and then add the VR converter and set the input to fisheye full dome, output equirectangular. rectangular tilt axis, negative 90, and then here we are, it's all stretched out, and then 360 degree field of view, and there we go, the whole scene is perfectly matched up to this acro rectangular scene, and you can do whatever you want from it again here. So I was having difficulty finding that specific information online. Some tutorials have something along these lines, but not exactly, so I hope that helps some of you. And again, this is coming from, I'm just going to go back into a production pipeline example of how you might have this, your equirectangular rectangular scene. So here's your, here's your original composition. And then maybe you've, you've uh, comped it into a uh, fisheye um, and you're working within this, maybe you only have it at 180 degrees. Oops, that's not right. 180 degrees. Again, it depends how much information you just want in the scene here. I just like mine like that. It still looks good in a 180 degree view dome. And then whatever your tilt is here, but to 
yeah, so it's just going from whatever you're working from and then reversing it, which seems totally obvious now. Now that I've made some changes, you can see that it's all warped here. But if I go back into this and set it to 360, 90, and then come back into this change, it's all reformatted accurately. So I'm pretty excited about that. It allows for a lot of flexibility. And I hope that helps some of you in your dome or VR production.